Good morning, Bulldogs, and happy Wednesday and Thursday. This video is going to cover all of the assignments that are due on Wednesday and Thursday of week six. Over these days, you will have ELA, reading, math, social studies, science, art, music, and PE. In math this week, there for Wednesday, there are no math lessons scheduled, so there will be no live lesson on Wednesday. However, there will be a live lesson on Thursday where we will review lesson 15. In lesson 15, we're going to be going through problem solving with perimeter. So you're going to be given different word problems, and our job is now going to be to create the polygons that are mentioned, label the side lengths, and then find the total perimeter, or whatever the question asks us to do. Maybe they'll give us the perimeter and we have to find side lengths. So we'll discover this as we go along. Uh, your must do for the problem set is number four, but if you really want to try yourself or, you know, test yourself, make sure you do those other problems as well. You can watch the video with uh, one of the math specialists that's on my learning, or you could come to the live lesson at two o'clock. All right, once you finish your problem set, go ahead and submit it and head back home. In social studies today, you're going to be reading super states, which is 8.04. 8.04 covers state constitutions and recognizing as we learned about the federal constitution for our whole country is that each individual state also has their own constitution. So you're going to be exploring and learning about that. And after you finish, there will be a quiz. You may uh, attempt the quiz up to three times. And once you have finished the quiz, you are done with social studies for this week. Go ahead and head back home when you're done. In ELA, for Wednesday and Thursday, you're going to finish reading 10.01, which you started on Tuesday, and complete the quiz, and then also begin your reading on Lesson 10.02. There is an assignment to go along with 10.02 that is due on Friday, but you do start it in 10.01. So as you go through, you're going to be completing this research graphic organizer. The research prompt is how is light produced in nature? And you've read two stories throughout the week from buggy bioluminescence and radiant rainbows. And the lesson has you go through and complete this graphic organizer for these, where you'll be writing down the source, you practice taking your notes, uh, writing down key vocabulary. And Mrs. Donnery went through this in her video. So if you have not watched her video yet, please do that before you complete your ELA work for Wednesday and Thursday. You have a quiz on Wednesday, but throughout the lesson, you're going to start filling this out. And the expectation for this is that the first page will be on buggy bioluminescence. The second one will be on your article on the rainbows. And then for the third one, you need to find your own source. Mrs. Donner will be posting some uh, sources that you can use in the research section of the discussion boards, or you can find your own source, but then you're going to go through and find a source about how light is produced in nature, take your own notes, complete this graphic organizer as well. So this will be due on Friday, but remember you're working on it over the course of the entire week. So don't skip out on this. Make sure you're filling it out as you go. And if you have any questions, let us know in the writing resource section of the discussion boards, or just post in the general discussion boards, and we'll be glad to help you out on this. Once you have finished 10.01, taken the quiz, and started reading 10.02, you are done with ELA for Tuesday and Thursday, and you can head back home. For Wednesday in Art, you're going to start your Landscape Seascape project. As you go through, you're going to be drawing a landscape or a seascape, and you're going to learn about foreground, middle ground, and background space. So read through the vocabulary, read through the resources that have been provided, watch the video of how to create this and then click the next button on the bottom. And that's gonna take you to the step-by-step -step directions on what your artwork should have and the steps you'll take to create them. They gave some examples. So go ahead, do your best, have fun with this. I think I'm gonna break out my color pencils and, and take, give this a go as well. And then once you have finished, submit your work and head back home. In Music on Thursday, you're going to be learning about the Romantic period. So go ahead and read through about the Romantic period. They have some videos that are set up to help guide you through all of the new learning that you'll be going through. And then once you have finished, you're gonna go ahead and take a quiz. The quiz has five questions and you can take it up to three times. Pay close attention to those videos. It's gonna help you a lot on those quizzes. Once you have finished and submitted your, t your quiz, you are done with music for the week.
In Science on Thursday, you're going to begin reading about absorbed light. We've gone through reflected, refracted, and now we are digging into absorbed light. So go ahead and read through the characteristics of light absorption and how that occurs. And on Friday, you will have a lab to go along with this. It will require a thermometer because it wants you taking temperatures and with some, and it has some construction paper. So the lab itself is really neat. If you have the materials, it, it'll be fun to conduct. If not, I'm going to be posting a video of a student who has completed a similar project. And this two-minute video goes through her entire experiment process. And you'll use this video to answer the questions instead. The worksheet will ask you something with minutes, and I think she does hours. But you can just put her information into the data chart, and we'll understand what you're talking about. So go ahead, and you can complete the experiment as planned, or you can use this video to help. And I'll, I'll be restating this on Friday for Friday's video. Once you have, all you have to do for this week in science, or for these days in science, is just read through about 6.06 .06 for absorbed light. Once you have finished reading, you can head back home. Your final two activities for Wednesday and Thursday are to complete your 30 minutes of reading and your reading log, and also your 30 minutes of PE for both days. All right, Bulldogs, that is it for Wednesday and Thursday. If you have any questions, please let us know. Continue doing an awesome job, and we will see you online. Make it a great day, Bulldogs.